So in the lead up to GTA 6, we're seeing a ton of games capitalizing off the Miami vibe to market their games. And there's nothing wrong with that. However, you guys may have seen over the past few months, a game has been circulating around many unethical YouTube channels. And it's a game that I've previously mentioned, Paradise. So in today's video, I'm gonna go through all the definitive proof we have that this game is not real, does not exist, never will exist, and why you should never sign up for it. I'm going to speed run this entire video because there's simply so much information to get through. And some of the points towards the end of the video are seriously worrying. To start off with, we'll talk about the game and later we'll talk about the company. Firstly, we have the assets. As we can see, this game is primarily an asset flip. Upon talking to a multitude of people that have a good understanding of Unreal Engine, the majority of everything we see in this trailer is assets taken from other games, asset packs and more. And typically there's nothing wrong with this, but for a game marketing itself as a AAA title, this is not the status quo. Next, we have plagiarism. There are a number of things in this trailer that are straight up copies from GTA 6's trailer, such as this umbrella, which is a direct clone of the umbrella scene in the GTA 6 trailer. Next, we have the gameplay and the fact that they're marketing all of this as gameplay footage. This is pre-rendered footage, not actually gameplay. Next, we have the laziness. There's so many elements of these trailers that are straight up lazy. For example, we have this comically large boat with bizarre movement. We have no footsteps in the sand. We have planes flying through a hurricane and the fact that they couldn't even be bothered to make a new scene for these two trailers. This is the same scene as their previous video. We have NPCs walking in the middle of the road, we have real car models and we have a mini map that looks suspiciously like GTA 5's maps with the same icons. I mean you get the general idea but this stuff doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. The scary stuff is yet to come. Let's look at their Peggy 12 rating, which isn't actually listed on the Peggy website. And I think this could be the first Peggy game in history to contain guns, naughty stuff, and oh, a whole crypto payment gateway. But we'll mention that a bit later. Now talking about ratings, of course, on the Epic Games Store, it says that it's a Peggy 12 rating. And of course, this led me to a dead end. I wasn't able to find any information from Peggy in regards to this game. However, on the Paradise website, if you scroll to the bottom, it says that they have a teen rating from the ESRB, the Entertainment Software Ratings Board. So I decided to search for all games that have the word Paradise in it on the ESRB's website. Now there was of course a lot. However, I did manage to find a game called Paradise and it's this one, which is made by Ubisoft, <laughs> not them. But this really got me thinking, Paradise should be a registered trademark and by the looks of things, the registered trademark belongs to them. Hence why they're exclaiming the fact that it is a registered trademark every single time they post anything to do with Paradise. The thing is, is this registered trademark was registered in 1970 and it does not belong to this games developer. So they're utilizing a registered trademark belonging to someone else to advertise their game, which they do not legally own. More to the point on their website, there's a series of registered trademarks, business names and everything. With all of these, I cannot find any evidence of any of these existing at all. Their registered company doesn't exist. Their registered trademarks don't exist. Their registered logo and brand does not exist this company doesn't even exist. We then have the fact that this is listed on the Epic Games website, which a lot of people are using as confirmation of the game being real. But Epic Games let you self-publish your own games on their store. I've reached out to Epic Games for a comment on this and I'm waiting for a response. But initially, the first person I spoke to at Epic Games had no idea what this game even was. As Paradise had been marketing this as being on the Epic Games store two months ahead of when it was actually listed on the store. Then of course, there's more red flags. I think you're starting to get an overall picture here. On many different platforms and in many different places, they've changed what this game will actually work on. On the website, it just says it's PC. But a couple of months ago, it said it was PS5, Xbox and PC. And then in their Discord, there was a message that was published that has since been deleted that said it worked on the PS4 and Xbox One. And there's even been some references to this game working on mobile. Now, if you've built and developed a game to work on certain platforms, the first thing you do as a games developer is figure out what you're building it for. We then have a game called City Paradise, which is listed on the PlayStation Store. It's yet to be confirmed if this is the same game, but the artwork is AI generated and there's a few things in the description that link it back to the original game's developer. So whatever this game is, it's not legit. Why would you make your official artwork for the game something that's been AI generated? Paradise and the team behind it have been on a huge marketing push recently to get creators to make videos 
pushing their game. Apart from the fact that this Hong Kong based company is contacting us creators from an email address in a Russian domain with half of their translations in the replies being in Russian. A uh, side note here as well, something else that I thought I should probably mention in this video if we're going all in. After I made my initial video about them, I received a second email from their marketing team, wink wink, which was actually blocked by my management spam filters and in one of the attachments there was an exe file. Now I'm currently getting someone to actually break apart this exe file and see what it is but the general consensus i've got from a few people i spoke to is that it's probably a keylogger of some sort so that's fun we then have the claims that they're working with ninja amongst other celebrities and after i made my first video calling them out for this they removed it from their website to be very clear you can't say that you're working with a celebrity and then put that it's coming soon you're using someone's name branding image and likeness to sell a product there's then the faq section which looks like it was written by a 10 year old reading through some of these FAQs FAQs, it's absolutely insane that any official legitimate company would have these answers to the questions. We then have whole sections of their website that are full of blank base text from a template. Just a footnote in the edit here, they've now removed this from their website since they were called out for it in their Discord. You get the idea. But what is the point of all of this and why are they doing this? What is the end goal and what are they trying to achieve? Well, when they first reached out to me, I signed up on their website and received a password reset email on my Instagram a couple of hours later. So I decided to create two fake Instagram accounts and signed up to the contact form on their website. And one of these Instagram accounts within about an hour received a password reset email. The other one didn't. In my personal opinion, there's a few things going on here. Firstly, they could be potentially looking to grow the public face of this project to bring in investor awareness and raise funds. Two, they could potentially be performing a phishing scam, which is the one that I believe this is. By signing up, your information is potentially getting stolen. And the reason I think this is primarily down to the fact that they're marketing this game as being currently available to play, not just in their trailers, but on their website. And they make you promises that you can play the game by signing up on their website but after you sign up there is no welcome page there is no thank you page for signing up the form just resets itself and does nothing there is no game and of course we have the third option which is the one that i'm tending to lean towards a little bit at the moment is the fact that this could potentially be a pump and dump crypto scam crypto is a big part of what this game supposedly is supposed to be but i've still not seen anything from the game's developer to explain how crypto works in the grand scheme of things there's just a general consensus that people need to buy a cryptocurrency and it looks like the standard run of the mill pump and dump scheme. Now I need to mention that anyone that has asked questions in their discord has been immediately removed. Comments with evidence of their scams have been removed and I've been hidden from their channel. There's now a growing community of people fighting back against this. And I've been invited into a few discords where people are talking about this and the fact that their information has been stolen, so on and so forth. Now below there is a link to the Epic Games store and please make sure you report the game for being a scam. A lot of young and impressionable people are putting themselves at risk. And I'm very aware that I could receive legal action if I'm wrong about this. In fact, I am so confident on the fact that this is a scam. I am making this video. If anything I said was incorrect in the past couple of videos I made about this topic, the developers behind Paradise could easily draft up a cease and desist and potentially take legal action. But the fact is, is they won't because by doing so, they're putting themselves on the radar of the authorities. This game does not exist. This game is a scam please do not sign up for it. And to every GTA YouTuber that's currently promoting this scam, I'm sorry, but it's despicable. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you all in the next one.